Right guys, here it is. It's uh, the Shark Powered Lift Away with Duo Clean. Um, it is the NV 801 UKT model. So we're going to unbox this and yeah, keep watching. Right, we have the um, instruction, quick start booklet and I'm going to try and do this one handed I'm sorry if it's a bit shaky um, right I shall just we have that the base head bit ooh can't stand the feel of that thing Next we have the hose on the handle. We have this brush here. I'm thinking this is the pet brush. Not to brush your pets with, by the way. <laughs> to hoover up after your pets. This is an upholstery brush. Well, tool, a upholstery tool. This is the um, crevice tool and a duster attachment on it. It's uh, like a double purpose brush. Tool, double purpose tool, sorry. Get rid of that. And that is your wand. <laughs> oh, I can't stand the feel of that. It's like an egg box. And this is the main unit. Right, I'm going to take the plastic off all these tools and then we'll have a quick look at them. Right, so guys, I've unboxed it and here it all is. Uh, we can have a better look at it. So this is the main unit and it comes with a flex which is eight meters long so that should stretch up the stairs we have this um main base unit well it's got a scratch on that but never mind i'm sure it'll get many more scratches uh, we have the pet tool which is this one here and it's a powered pet tool this one is for the upholstery um upholstery tool this is the main wand and the, we have the hose with the handled bit on the end. Quick start instruction manual, or destruction manual, should we say? <laughs> and here is the energy efficiency chart for it. Um, this is coming off as a B. Um, so it's a B. Um, it's got 800 decibels um, of sound. Um, I think, the, what's that? Uh, oh, okay. So it gets a C rating for carpeted floors. It gets a C rating for hard floors, sort of wood, laminate, tiles. And I think this is sort of, not emissions, what would you call it? Like dust, dust escaping or whatever it's an ear so maybe for allergens that's that's good but not too bad for energy consumption so yeah there there we have it um i'm going to fix this all together and see how we get on with it been dead excited for it coming um there's really good reviews about this and currently i have a dyson dc something or other it's a cylinder type um so yeah um it's time for an upgrade and i've upgraded to this because of all of the good reviews are it's hard right so um i haven't had any dummy run yet so literally um i'm doing it and learning as i go so please bear with me be please be patient so what i'm going to do is it looks like this just slots into there 
like so. Oh, that went in very, very easily. That that was really good. I like that. And the main unit. Wow, super smooth. Yep, yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed just by that. The ease of things, you know, slotting in and coming together. Right, this. Which way does this go? That doesn't even go in there. No, it doesn't even. Right. Sorry. This. Yep. Yeah. Very easy. Looks like that goes in there. I mean, bearing in mind... Oh, sorry, I've got the camera everywhere. I do apologise. Bearing in mind, I'm doing it one-handed. You know, it's... um everything's kind of fitting in pretty easily and this this little ball thing looks like it goes in there oh yep that just fits in there yeah so that's it it's assembled you know how easy was that that was just easy and i'm doing it one-handed you know and holding my camera in in my left hand and doing it all with my right hand which is you know that was pretty good that so yes yeah, so far i'm impressed with um you know how it's all gone together so easily and i'm impressed with the materials it seems pretty robust for it's made with it's not doesn't seem like cheapy plastic you know it's um it seems like all right quality plastic um yeah i have yeah but the tools go on board does see it all oh, right okay so here if we look here um it looks like oh yeah it's got a little picture there saying that that tool goes on there so we'll pop that on and yeah that's that tool you can just see the little picture there so we'll pop that one on on there yeah they went on so easy that's fantastic i really like that because my Dyson um, did have tools with it, but um, from what I recall, it had them on this hose pipe, and within like a week of having it, it just it was so in, it was just in the way, and I abandoned that, so the tools were just left in the cupboard, and it was really really difficult, you know. Um, hoovering up with with that one because um as i said the tools were always in the cupboard so you'd get to a certain place where you needed a certain tool and then you'd have to stop turn the hoover off run downstairs to the cupboard because i'm never that organized but yeah the fact that these are on board is absolutely brilliant uh this one there doesn't seem to be any place for this one um which is mm, a shame but hey you know yeah we'll see how we get on Right guys, so I've plugged it in, um, I'm looking for a place for this to go but it doesn't look like it goes anywhere, I think you just have to keep hold of this, you should go on along maybe, okay, so we've got a few buttons here which is a wand release button um, and the hose release button. Um, there's a, the lift away button what's right here and here is most importantly the one I'm looking for the on button so I'm just going to give a little quick demonstration um, yeah and, and we'll see how it performs and how loud it is and yeah let's, let's give it a go Okay, that didn't go well. Um, I do know why. It's because um, I didn't have this fully pushed in. That was the reason. Um, 
Oh, actually, I think on here, if we can see on here, it has, oh, and I have it on a carpet setting when really I should have it on a hard floor. So let's change that. So now it is on hard floor. Is that right? Yes, hard floor. Okay, you can see I which flips there. So carpet, hard floor. So put it on hard floor. I've plugged the hose in properly this time. Let's give it another go. Right. Oh, that's better. Right, I know that was a very, very quick um, demo. <laughs> I will do. I will um, do another one, um, probably when my daughter gets here, uh, then she can film because <laughs> I'm not very good at doing both, <laughs> multitasking. So yeah, what all I can see about it so far is it is very quiet compared to my Dyson. Now my Dyson is an old one, but it is remarkably quiet. Um, it's yeah. I, I do I, first impressions I do like it but yeah I'm gonna go and hoover some other flows and come back to you So that hoovered up really, really well um, on the carpet, uh, leaving hoover lines. Um, just there you go. So yes, that was really, really good on carpet. And what there is here is a setting. This is so to skip to from carpet on a hard floor because I'm going straight on a laminate now. So we'll just do that. I flipped it. <laughs> So yeah, it, um, it's very easy to change from floor, floor covering to floor covering. Um, um, for getting under tight spaces, like under furniture, and sometimes you can't get under, so what this does is it just lifts off so you can get right down flat and under things, under your furniture. And it clicks straight back on. It's really very easy to use. Um, 
we have this button here which is a wand release button and it just releases like that you've got your onboard tools here so for instance if I wanted to dust the clothing that clicks in there we move that down to there to dust and we can then lift this off so it comes is like that switch it on and we can get up high do cobwebs we can do a long skirt just along the skirt and board and just in case we miss any bits, any edges of the carpet, you know, where we've moved it with the full unit, you can, you know, flip this bit up and get right in the edges with the crevice too. On. Right, so if we're getting into tight spaces, you can click that button, this releases. And again, I'm going to use this tool to get in corners and tight spaces. I can click that off, switch it on, and then we can. Get around in all the tight spaces, and it's quite portable. Right, so um, this attachment here is the hard, um, the pet attachment, the duo pet. So what I'm going to do is just take that off, swap it over. Unfortunately, this doesn't go on both the Hoover. Um, you know, these are sitting quite conveniently on the back. I can't find anywhere where this one would attach to. Uh, that's the, my only real criticism of this Hoover. You know what, the fact that um, this isn't on board, but this is good for your stairs. Uh, obviously, in its lift away mode to go up your stairs. I can't really show you at the moment because um, my stairs isn't carpeted right now. I'm having a new carpet put down. So, yeah, you would just, you know, drop the stairs so you can just fit on. Absolutely brilliant. It's um, a powered pet, a powered head. Um, yeah, really good. Here on this top of the wand here, you've got the suction control. So going from min minimum to maximum. Um, so if you wanted to see a hoover, well, dust your curtains or whatever, turn it down to minimum, have your dusting tool on, you know, and it's not going to suck your curtains in. Um, so yeah, that's a really really good feature. And as you can see here, I'm on, it's on hard floor um, carpet, hard floor, just a very easy flip of the switch, which is excellent. Dean, so there's just two buttons here that you press. This lifts this away, and all you do is I'm not going to press it, but you press that button there, and you you know all of this i mean there you go that's where i've hoovered up just off the demo that i've just done that's come out of the carpet it's unbelievable what it picks up it's really really good and uh, the heart the bigger bits that you hoover up can collect in there so if you if you accidentally hoover up i don't know say some kid's leg or wherever it's going to go in this chamber rather than this chamber here so you know you haven't got to rifle through all of the um you know rubbish <laughs> to get to it these are the filters i i do know that you have to clean these quite regularly it does say on here um three months clean your filters these are the filters the fully washable there's two there's another one in there um and this is the HEPA filter in here in this part here uh, it does come off um, I'm not quite sure how yet, but it does come off to be clean too. Um, so, 
very, very, very easy to fit back on. I mean, for the ease of use, the, they literally have thought of everything, this company. I, I, I really can't fault the Hoover. Um, I just wanted to show you this bit too. Getting back to this main sort of unit. So if we look in here, there's two buttons here that you can press. So that'll lift that up. This lifts off. And what you have is your roller. You can just release this. As you can see, there's loads of hair in, you know. Um, I'm more like a blooming dog. <laughs> and you've got this handy little tool. So you would just go along like that. Along this like score line. I don't know if you can see that. You just go along this line. And then you can take all of this hair off. So it's very, very easy to get at. Then once you've done that, um, you can pop that back in. Which fits in very, very easily. There's a little brush attachment on here. If we flip it up, you can see this actually comes out too, this little roller one. Um, yeah, sorry, I, I was unsure how to get it out. You push that bit up like that, pushing it up. And then that comes out. It's like a chenille, so that can be washed. And for this little bit, you've got these little teeth here. So this thing's all these little teeth. I don't know if you can see that. I've just pulled that out. So yeah, for ease of cleaning. And I would probably clean this out, I don't know, maybe it's once a week. Um, yeah, about once a week I would clean this out. I wouldn't clean the filters once a week. I will probably do them, as it suggests, every sort of three months or, or maybe two, depending on how, how dirty they look. I mean, we're still doing bits of building work. So, I'm, um, you know, there's a lot of dust and muck around, so probably my filters will need cleaning a bit more than, than other people's at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, it's just, yeah, sorry. It's telling me front, you know, I should, I should have my glasses on and take notice. But yeah, that bit's all brilliant. It's dead easily accessible, all these bits for cleaning. Uh, so you don't have to send it off to get, um, you know, cleaned or maintained that way. Um, is there anything else? I don't think there is anything else. Um, I think I've gone through pretty much everything. I absolutely love the lift away function of it. Um, it is a little heavy, but it is no heavier than my Dyson. And the way everything just slots on easily. Oh, I've never put that on properly, sorry, my error. That's not the, the hoover, that's me. Right, I'm, I'm still trying to um, get the grips for this hoover because, um, well, as, you, as you know, I've only just gotten it. Um, so yeah, out that, everything just slots in so easy, you know, you can do it with one hand, it is brilliant. Um, my only criticism is this isn't on board, that's the only thing. If there was somewhere where this was, you know, you could put this, it would be, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't have any, any complaints at all about it. The power of it, brilliant, I would change this from hard floor to carpet brilliant the weight of it brilliant now i'm quite short i'm only five foot two this over when i did unpack it i thought wow this is really tall but to be, to be fair i don't find it a problem at all you can see on me where it's done where it is you know but um i can absolutely manage it so easy it's, the height is not a problem the weight isn't a problem what I will show you is my old Dyson. Very, very old. <laughs> so please don't judge. And he's very, very full as well. He needs emptying. 
but yeah but this is this is my old Dyson I'm not sure of what model it is oh hang on yeah it's got right there DC08 telescopic wrap I've had this Hoover for oh, um, I think it's about 10 years at least uh, it could be longer I think I bought it in 2007 so yeah it's 11 years old it's 11 years old this Hoover and I can honestly see it it hasn't failed me it really hasn't failed me I haven't replaced this Hoover because I had to I've replaced it simply because I'd heard good reviews about the um, the shark and um, I now have a three storey house so I've got a lot of stairs and I thought, found this really really difficult to um, to manage Hoover in the stairs uh, it's it's a very heavy compared to the shark, really heavy compared to the shark. So I basically got the shark because of the stairs. You know, I have to do all these stairs now. Um, but this is still a good over. Um, obviously, if I had to choose between the two, then I would choose the shark. I would definitely choose the shark over the Dyson. Um, I think from now on, I will definitely um, be looking at sharks if I... Uh, if, uh, in the future if I ever well, well when the time comes to replace the hoover I think the shark just has the edge the shark really does have the edge on it um, the thought of everything so it is a marks out of 10 hoover I would say it's a in, for me it's a nine and a half simply because this doesn't attach onto the hoover so yep nine and a half Right, that's the end of this review for this Hoover. I'm going to finish off Hoovering up and thanks for watching and I hope this has helped you if you're deciding, you know, if you're thinking of getting this Hoover.